Hey everybody and I'm back! Uh, yeah, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing very well and I'm back with Mix Daily Training and let's go! Uh oh, Moopot is evolving again I think. Hey Karma, 65 months at tier 3, thank you so much. Appreciate it. 65 months, it's huge. But Mubot is evolving once again, I think. How did he write welcome to somebody? What? Hi Karma, how are you? I'm already scared of Mubot. One day... Did he say hello or something? Or what did he say that we got like surprised? I don't remember exactly, but it was something very surprising that she never says. Research is evolving, you know? I'm fine, we can eat soon on vacation also game clubs, that's nice. I'm a little worried about Moobot evolving. She should simul five years ago. Oh gosh. Da -da 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 -da. This position looks very equal. Hello Panda, thanks for 47 months at tier 3. Appreciate it. Hi Darko, what is up? Two twenty, almost 2600 people rated 2600 in Ultra Bullet are playing each other. This is some high 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 tier high tier stuff sheesh 22 2600 bottling it out it's crazy level three wait do you have a hype train oh, level three wait but wasn't hype train you need two or uh, three people level three hype train nice thank you guys wait where did black queen go wait Maybe a Bootus Scambit happened. It may or may not have happened. And then it's Axel1702. It's from Germany. Okay, I gotta, I gotta have fun. Oh God, that's, that is scary. Have fun. <laughs> this guy never, never sings for a second. Have fun sounds quite terrifying coming from him. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Well, let's have fun, guys. Uh, thanks. What is C5? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Mm. Pawn is a pawn, right? It's not a queen. I mean, I mean, it can be a queen. I don't know what C5 is, honestly, but I'll take this juice rapidly. Yep, knight c6, and I don't know, knight b3. Getting mad here from some weird sounds from somewhere near me. Oh gosh, is there, is there a bike riding, perhaps, or an ambulance? I think you can get mad from, from, from an ambulance uh, driving near you in Germany. You can not only get mad, you can also get a heart attack. So maybe it's an ambulance or a bike. Very loud bike. <laughs> okay, Queen E2, I boost, protect this and that. So, so far it looks like he just gave away a pawn for no reason. But I don't want to speak too early. Because if he said have fun, it's not outside, okay. Then your neighbor is drilling, right? <laughs> yeah, I think it's your neighbor drilling. Or listening loud TV. Or listening loud TV, huh? And this okay, I think rook d1 and bishop d2. Aye, the pawn. How could I forget that it's hanging? But bishop d5, if 
you dig, say take, you dig, say take. I'm a pawn up. I'm a pawn up. The pawn is a pawn, as we know. Uh, I go here. Oh gosh, why did he say you fun at the start? <laughs> why? Wait, so I take, he takes, I take, he checks. Don't I just have bishop of one? Queen d7 or what? I don't like when people wish have to me to have fun because they will have fun and not me. No, but okay, I'm, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I want a biscuit a lot, guys. This. I'm blind. Apparently. Well, I guess G3 has to be played. I mean, that completely. Hi, contribute nothing. How are you doing? Yeah, I think G3 has to be played because Queen C4 gets rook D1. Checkmate. I have to play queen of one, but that's not. I missed knight c4. I missed an in between it completely. <laughs> oh well. I should have played queen c2 now, I think, right? How does he protect the knight? He has to go back. If knight c4, he take as well. Knight a5. Yeah, he wants to paralyze me. <sighs> Oi. Scary. What if I go like Queen C2? No, I should have played Queen C2 earlier, no. And I think I may be in some trouble. May or may not be in some trouble. When I D4, think runs into like E5 or something. Knight f3, rook d1. I think I'll go here. Ay, 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 ay. Definitely not the position I wanted to get about 10 moves ago. I, I, I had more, more bigger, more greater plans, but I guess it's okay. Yeah, I should have played queen c2 immediately. Because the knight is hanging. If take takes, he, he has to waste the tempo. And I'm much better. Hi, Harry. Uh, Bishop d2, I think. Major d, thank you. Yeah, I think this. Knight c6. Hold the phone. Takes. If takes, I take in f8. And my knight is stuck. Wait, what is this emoji karma? Is this a hype train emoji? I know it isn't. <laughs> Would be funny if it is. Um, hype train emojis are very boring though. So it couldn't. Uh, takes, yeah, I think rook d2 is there. Crazy move, 90 cent, king of 8, my knight is stuck there. So I suppose bishop c3 sacking a, I mean not sacking a pawn because I'll get one back. But no, I'm not sure on how am I going to win this, unfortunately. But you know, it may come with time. Hey, thank you so much, Juni, for 100 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Juni. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. But yeah, queen c2 there would just be much better, I think. I don't know why he played c6 and very next move c5. Weird anymore, but it's fine, I guess. So you got a pretty good position. Uh, rook d1. Yeah, perhaps d5 ideas or something.
King G2. Gonna be really challenging to win, I think. Yeah, Queen D7. Uh. If I forget Kini for can he miss this please? Then we'll have fun as he wished. <laughs> you wish me to have fun, yes to play e5. Then I will have a lot of fun. <laughs> so feel free to play e5, Axel. <laughs> because otherwise what was the reason to wish me to have fun, you know? No, plays f5. No, no, you should have played e5. No, not f5. Okay, kini 2, f4. I wanted kini c, but then e5 works for him, unfortunately. So I suppose f4. This. Should I block on a... Perhaps I should play h4. I don't know if he's sniping. It, it, that that is a danger. It, uh, how do you say? A dangerous thing with streaming. You never know who is sniping, is stream sniping you, and and who isn't. You know, because some guy you think maybe stream sniping, but he isn't, and some guy you think he is not stream sniping, and he is. So like, you just after a lot of streaming. You just like find out how how to give information so it's somewhat entertaining to watch and also not like too too much information so if you open and he's sniping that he won't gain anything ginormous out of it, you know? So I'm saying sniping right now and I will one hundred Ah <laughs> no, Foki don't please don't. I don't like stream snipers. I like stream viewers, but not snipers. <laughs> we also trick them. True! But people with 2600 leeches usually aren't that stupid to fall for stream sniping traps, unfortunately. Of course, some do, of course, but unfortunately, they also think and, yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, I don't know how to win this, honestly, chat. <sighs> What can I like even do to try to win? That's a big question. Okay, let me try to think of something. This, this. You will see. Here. I'll, I'll try like I think it's not uh, too too risky to play like this I'm pretty sure I should have a draw because he's playing for a draw I mean I can I, I can absolutely feel it in his moves he isn't trying anything at least he wasn't trying you know he can always try any movement that wouldn't be great but like if he has a mindset that he's fighting for a draw then it can be there can be some practical chances which are very 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 unlikely to succeed but uh, you know it may yeah b b6 is just like a move uh, after which i can like never break through at all pretty much How are you doing, Pookie, by the way? What's up? Okay. 
Okay, let's go like Rook A1. <clears throat> I don't know what for, honestly. Just making some moves, to be completely honest. Okay, here. I'm surprisingly not lower on time now. It's pretty nice against this guy because he like doesn't think at all. Of course you may not think later on, but still it's quite psychologically also quite nice feeling. I'm gonna try. It's a, a risk-free position for me. Absolutely so. It, it, it won't hurt to try. I, I always will have a draw, I think. And that's a nice move from him. That's why I said I think I will always have a draw. <laughs> Something can, always, can go wrong. When you least await it, but no, it's, it's, it did not even run. Just, 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 yeah, <laughs> forget it. Rook e1. If he takes rook a1, I'm gonna get the juicer back. Because I couldn't take, because rook e1 you would get rook a6, and I didn't want that. Okay, rook a1. <clears throat> okay, I mean, now I'm getting some half-open file. It's, it, 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 is, it is more more exciting to play. I'm, I'm starting to have more fun as you wish at the beginning of the game. <laughs> it's a little bit more fun to play this now, you know? <laughs> it's very nice when people do what they wish. Uh, I will have a lot of fun if I get a winning position, but, you know, uh, step by step. And also he's a minute down, and against this guy I think it's quite huge, a minute, because, yeah, in time trouble it can can save the day, can change the outcome. Okay, takes, I think. Mm, yeah, I don't think there is anything that I missed. Here. This wins. Think, or does it, no, it doesn't. T5 he gets rook c3. I miss this. Does it win? No, it doesn't, I think. Does it? But it, it, I made him think, you know, maybe if it's not the best move, it's a good practical decision, I think. Yeah, it doesn't. But okay, it's fine. I can, <clears throat> I can, I can, I can go back. Made him think for about twenty seconds. It's pretty good. Okay. I cannot think much. I cannot think for too long. Because he's super fast as him. As I said already, a lot of time, a lot of times. Okay. 
Gotta move. It goes here. Uh huh. Didn't didn't think he'd do this, but okay. All right, I'm I'm breaking through d5. It doesn't do much. Just hoping that there there will be some practical chances. Because like now at least my bishop is more or less free to move around the board. And it's also is at 25 seconds, which is pretty low. 20, wow, he's thinking for a while. No, I don't think 14 seconds should be enough, it will be enough for him. Yeah, 10. Wait, he lagged for 5 seconds? Hello? Excuse me? What happened there? How did he lag for five or six seconds? Okay, I know the Max L1702. It's a dead draw position, but he sought for too much. I don't know why. Yes, I wanted to check here, right? Queen C2 and I'm better. Yeah, yeah, plus one. This is this. I was better after Bishop E2. But yeah, I missed knight c4. I was like, well, rook d1, bishop f1, I'm winning. But this is, and then it was a very smooth draw. But he was thinking for a while. I got some practical chances and an e flag. So, I mean, a win is a win, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, I got better from the opening, but then I missed knight c4. Then I was worse. Then, then I equalized. And then it was fine. Okay, what happened? Did your stream sniping attempt fail? <laughs> Did your super clever stream sniping plan absolutely got shattered into pieces or no? Maneuvering, yeah. Even though I didn't get a win position, it was very successful on, on, on the clock, you know. Yeah, I mean, this was more or less forced, I suppose, because like anything else just loses. <clears throat> knight h8, king g7, my knight is stuck. <laughs> the queen of seven. Whoa! I thought that was like, again, almost forced. Ah, bishop g5 makes sense. Rook f7. What does she play? <gasps> no, no, but no. Part of me just wants to go king h8 and b c, but part of me is like, wait, why doesn't rook f7 work, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but actually, rook f7? Rook e1 or what? No, but this... I mean, take... Yeah, I saw this line, but then I escape. Huh? That was so weird. So I literally took, made the only reasonable move, took the queen, made the only move, made the only move, made the only move, and then puzzle is over. What? I literally made only moves four moves in a row. <laughs> That's such a weird puzzle. How did how did 68.8% of people fail it? Wow. How? I'm so confused, it was so simple. F4, and if the knight moves, I want to go queen g6. Ah, but he has queen e3, I suppose. That was such an easy puzzle, previous one. It's very weird. I thought it was a pending puzzle. 
But apparently it was an, an just a very normal puzzle. Weird. Oh well, I'm happy. Not complaining about a pre a pre a free puzzle, I mean. Title KG one, so I need to take. I need to take? This looks pretty nice. Yup. And okay, he's written in mate in one, so you gotta be careful. You gotta be very careful. But what if I take and then take h5? Not sure. I mean, I either play rook g6, which looks incorrect here. Din, 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 dun, 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 bum, boom. And then checks are over. Or I take bishop c4. And after this, I don't know what to do. Perhaps rook d3. Yeah, I mean, it, it was the only move which I think made sense. Uh, but now... Do I take... He takes... Check, check, check. Here, he... Oh, this looks nice. Check, check, check. And then king 8, queen h8, queen d4, king f7, check, and king j to get rook g1, check, and mate. Nice puzzle. Okay, e3 for sure. This move doesn't even require thinking because it's the only check in the position. Height. Uh. Let's see. <laughs> da, 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 da. What if I check him from here? That king h2 get queen e6, take take pawn check. I get five. He got four. He'll take e3. I'll take c6. I'll have four three. So that's good. Queen e2. King h1. It just doesn't feel good. King f1. King g1. Made it. King g3. Queen f2. Pawn hanging. So this I take. This I go here. Yep, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was just important to calculate the arriving pawn endgame. If it wins, if it's winning there, the puzzle is solved pretty much. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, queen of one, threatening mate in one, queen is three, check here. And I think it doesn't work. Yeah, I remember there was some. I was very, very confused with this puzzle. I was really not sure like why the solution is what it is. But hopefully this time I'm gonna solve it correctly. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> uh, like all moves which make sense don't really make much sense to the for the solution. Perhaps I simply take rookie five or what? Yeah, I remember it was some like first looking move which looked quite stupid from the first side but then when you go deeper it's correct a five yes here perhaps a check if this if this is queen d1 so king g3 rookie three doesn't work this is f4 if king h2 i <laughs> I mean, it would make sense to give a check because it's the only check, and it did make sense, fortunately. Uh, but I go check king h2, rook e2, take king h5 or something. I think no. Yeah, this it still goes on actually. Do you go like queen h1? Weird looking move, honestly. Rook d5? 
and then but then root d4. Mm -hmm. Good. This puzzle is pretty long and moves don't really make too too much sense for me, but yeah, it's fine. Hmm. It would be nice like to make a move with like a ginormous threat. But I don't think there is such a move. I mean there is queen h1. But a g rook g five king f three, and it feels like he's surviving. She also is queen f two. No, but queen f two, queen d one. So I would guess this minus two. Are you kidding me? I mean one, two, three, four, four correct moves. And the puzzle. Oh no! No one sees the solution. Take this, this, this. I need a hint. Queen. Queen b5. Such a stupid move. I just need two more moves and I lost rating. That's unfortunate. No, but that's a weird puzzle. Very weird puzzle in my opinion. Of course, maybe, maybe, of course, maybe for you it was super simple, but I just didn't get it. I think Karma is still quite far away from vacations. Plus nine, pretty nice. Get to see some myself. Uh, eight x b. I mean, that's like the only. The this position is super messy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I like go B2? Because if King 2 I take, I'm fine. But after B2 gets King B1, and my opponent is like an umbrella for him. <laughs> it is quite unfortunate. If I do say so myself. What if I go Bishop B2? Oh, that looks nasty. Then I take. Oh my gosh. Uh. Check. <laughs> That's such a stupid, stupidly weird puzzle. Like, it's so messy. The only move that doesn't lose is A, B makes sense, you know? But now you play bishop b2. If king d2, yes, we take this knight. Because b2, and now if king b1, b takes, A is actually made in 1. That we don't get the same with b2 instead of bishop b2. And takes, we simply take, take queen b1. This we take, this queen f5. This hangs, this hangs, and we win. Pretty crazy puzzle, if I do say so myself, to be honest. Very, very unusual puzzle. Very, very unusual position. Maybe puzzle is, was more or less usual, but I liked it. It was quite, 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 quite challenging. It's pretty challenging. Hmm. I mean, this looks. Oh, no, 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 boat is coming. This looks interesting. Like, it, it looks exciting, all. But I, I'm not sure. 
to this is why I'm thinking this may be correct, but then I'm not sure what to do to queen d4. Because, like, he protects the thing I'm threatening, I protect the things he's threatening. Uh, queen d4. Like, of course, a move like e5 would be absolutely perfect that we block the queen thing here, right? Queen protection. But he gets queen e4. And, and yeah, that's not, 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 not ideal. Somehow if I played a weird move like, I don't know, somewhere my king would be safe. e5, I think I'm winning. But he gets checks in the current position. I was considering queen e6 with the threat of this and that. Then he gets rook b8. But then I suppose I can check king j rook d7. It's not forced. So I can check, check, check. But then what if he hides on h5? Then I take this. So he's forced to go f6. And I run out of checks. His skin is pretty exposed. I mean, it should be this. Yes. And it's just going to be easier to calculate. Perhaps it's like queen e6? Is this of queen g4, rook d7? So queen f5, rook d7. But what if he just stops all my ideas with rook b7? So that I don't get rook d7? Not sure about that. Queen d5 perhaps, with the threat of queen to f5, no, rook d7, and he cannot stop me. No, it wasn't queen d5. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amy Bedworth's life with a rate of party of 1. Appreciate the rate. Thank you. It wasn't queen e6. It was queen e6, I mean. But queen e6, rook b7? Ah, the rook is falling. This is... I check. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, Amy. Okay, so I just had to play queen e6, and the puzzle would be solved. And I wanted to go for it, but last last second I decided not to, and I failed the puzzle. Yeah, guys, go check uh, Emmy out. Thanks once again for the rate. Hope you had a fantastic stream. So let's see, queen g4, 13, mating 1. If knight f4, I go h, g, f, g, queen g3. Once again, 13, mating 1, and the knight hangs. If rook f3, I take this, I'm winning. If he goes rook d2, I can take. And then d7, queen h4, queen g4. Well, that looks nice. Well, that was easy. Uh, that was suspiciously easy, actually. Like, okay, queen g4, somewhat a forcing move. It was good, thank you. So, queen g4, threatening queen h3. This is the only move, this. If he pushes, I get mate into this queen h3. That's forced. Then, what else? If here, I check, king h1, I get g2, that's mate. Knight of zero, queen g2. If king g1, I can take, take with check. No, not take with check, but I check here. If king e1, this, this, this is mate. If king g1, I get this, this, and that's the position we got in game. Threatening mate and one. If rook d2, I either, yeah, I either can take and queen h4, queen g4, take, or queen h4 first and then take. And if rook fc, then I take, take, and take. This is puzzles, all right. No, I'm finished with puzzles, totally journal, unfortunately, sorry. I am finished with puzzles for today. Now I'm gonna play blindfold duck chess. No, no, no riots, I'm playing blindfold duck chess. You know? So no riots, please. Be quiet. Be, no, not be quiet, that sounded rude. Uh, keep calm, please. Please keep your calm and enjoy. So we go for Chigorin.
Okay, Trigorius played e3, right? Not knight f3. Yeah. And bishop d2. And takes. He takes d92. The idea he cannot take us of a pin. In bishop d4, the main line is f3. And he goes for the main line. Oh, goodness me. Please don't take. Now I think I, 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 yeah, because if I take, he gets dc. So I think I take. And usually I think take, 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 take is what's, I think, likely to happen. Oh, no, he goes knight, bishop e6. So it's it was likely to happen, but it didn't happen. Um, and how do I play here? Keep calm and enjoy, just like the famous British poeter. <laughs> Bishop b5 looks interesting. My idea is to take, take, and castle, or something like this. It castles. I can take 97, but the position of taking h8 looks like a mess. He's preventing me from castling. My knight is somewhat, not somewhat, I think it's actually trapped there. So I don't really like that. So I think I'm simply gonna take. Oops, he takes. I can calculate this line and play e4, and knight e4, take, take this, but then queen h4, my king's in the center. So I think I'm simply gonna castle. The knight e6 idea is always in the air. Queen t6, okay, then I take. Why did he waste the tempo? I am not sure. Yes, and now I play e4. So he has weaknesses. I have a good knight. So it, it looks quite promising. Queen e4, I like that move. Uh, keeping this pawn attacked. Also want to play rook d1. Yeah, I think rook d1. Knight seven, yeah, it makes sense because otherwise I think I have a much much better position. Um, if I go rook d five, knight b six, I can simply take. Oops, mouse slip. I can simply take queen e seven. I win a pawn. So rook d five. If you go c six, I go back. I provoked a weakness. So I actually really like rook d five idea. C six. But now I can go to d2 with the idea of doubling up. He still cannot go knight b6 because of rook d8. He goes knight f8. Why can't I take and then take a7? I think I can, can't I? I think, yeah. Rook d7, queen c5, a2, c6. Huh. Weird. Very weird. Yeah, but I take c6, no? Or is it protected? I forgot that it's protected. Yeah, but can't I go... Oh, back rank, queen f2. No, it goes queen b. Ah! So confusing. Oh, no. It's so confusing how he plays. I mean, I think I'm simply gonna play h3, just so that no back rankers d8, I don't know, rook a1 perhaps? Yeah, this. Maybe rook a1 wasn't a great move, actually. But okay, I, can, I think I can go like queen a4, queen a7, rook d1 ideas, that looks quite quite fine, I think. If knight c5, queen a7 is an option, I'm pretty sure. And rook d1 I can take, and rook d8. Yeah, here. First of all, can I play queen a7? Second of all, should I play rook d1? I think I'm gonna play rook d1, honestly. Queen d7 is interesting, but then, I don't know, queen d6, it feels like he gets a lot of active play. So I'm gonna go rook d1. h5, wow. But, uh huh. Takes, takes, queen d4, he gets queen g5. The only way he prevents a queen trade. But then, can I, can I play like queen d2 or something? Or queen f2, with the idea of bishop d2. 
I mean, it looks interesting, so I'm gonna go for it. Takes. Queen d4. Queen d5, right? Or no, he takes. Interesting. Okay, should I just play bishop? Where should I put my bishop? Perhaps it's b6, that his knight can go to any of these squares. And then like king f8, b4, king e7, b5. Or, or, or there is nothing to worry and I can let his knight block my pawn. Bishop b5 runs into a tempo with d6, f6, I think. Bishop b3 is interesting, but then knight c7, and knight b5. I mean, sure, I think it's winning there. But not sure, so I think bishop b6 is a good move. This, king d7, bishop e3, king c7, king g1. Yeah, let's go for it. The idea is b6. Okay, now I am pretty sure it's time to bring the king. Maybe king h2 was a better option. I'm not exactly sure, but I think this should be fine as well. I think my king is already pretty active. Yeah, this king e2. I'm gonna go king d3, king c4, king d5, king d6, king e7. Here I'm gonna go b6. If knight a8, I'm happily gonna, tr gonna trade. It's about to say yes, king d3. His knight is just dead in the corner. He takes, I take, he takes, I go king e3. He goes somewhere, I go king f4. He goes somewhere, I go here, this, this. Okay, that is winning, but it's not smooth. Maybe I should move my king and just let him take, and then king f3, king g4, and this, but then king e4 in his in time. Interesting, so king d3, knight b6, take, take. Or I can play bishop d4 now. The idea is if he takes, I can take. This pawn on h4 is stranded, so I'm easily gonna take it. And if he goes like f6, now I play king e3. Knight b6, now I can take. King f4, then I can play king g4, and I'm in time. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Bishop d4, if he wastes the tempo, I get king e3. Uh, yeah, king e3. Then I'm gonna take king f4, and this is winning. Take. King f4, king c5, king g4, king d4, king h4, that's winning. This I can go king g5, with the threat of king f6 as well. Yes, king f6, this, 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 this. He takes, and then go king g6, I take. That's probably even an easier win than taking h4. Of course, both are completely winning, but I like this more. And I'm gonna uh, take one more pawn, so that I'll have three versus one. And there is absolutely no way he can stop three of my past pawns. King g5. <clears throat> if he let me, I'll go. No, he doesn't. No, I meant, I meant to play h4. But fortunately, this mouse slip doesn't hurt at all. King f4, I can go. King e5, and then start pushing this pawn. <clears throat> continue pushing, continue pushing. Now I take. Then I play f4, f5, f6. He most likely. No, he doesn't take. Then f7, anyways. Then I promote. Queen f3. Queen g4, king f6, and queen h4. My name is actually l7. That was a pretty good game. I'm super happy with it. I think I played, I almost played like nil 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 or something. That was a super smooth game, chat. Really good. One nil nil. Are you kidding me? King g6 was an inaccuracy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why did you have to ruin my perfect zero 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 game with an inaccuracy which wasn't an inaccuracy? <laughs> no, no. Look, f4 62.7, king g6 61.4, 61. No. <laughs> My poor perfect game got ruined by an inaccuracy. No! Okay, guys. I think it's time for me to end my chess career. This, this game just broke my my moral, broke me morally. 
this this inaccuracy. I, I, I just cannot live with it. I just can't. Um, so, just comes to save two inaccuracies. No, guys, thanks a lot, everybody, for being chess is hard. Yeah, look, 68 moves. I played such a perfect game. No mistakes, smooth win. And then King G6 is an inaccuracy in an absolutely winning position where I'm still completely winning. Uh, look, F4, 72.1, King G6, 72.1, that's literally the same. I played 1 nil nil. he played 4 nil nil. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very happy that he went for it because usually the book is Knight of 6, this, okay, this, and usually you trade the Queens. Now to queen to a by slightly better, so it couldn't be worse. But in the game, yeah, I got a better position. He got very bad pawns. Oh my god, this guy is 26.56. He's top one ultra bullet. And he's saying hi. Does he want to donate his ultra bullet rating? I wouldn't mind, personally. Yeah, I, I love I loved rook d5. Rook d5, I think, was such a nice move, so I... I I'm gonna go rook d1. If knight b6, I take, take, and I win this pawn, and I provoke c6, straight in weaknesses. And I won this pawns, and I was surprised that he didn't go queen g5, because then it, it would be completely win, but still quite challenging. Yeah, king g6, it's not an inaccuracy. Thank you so much for the follow, interesting and fun. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it, man, but I, 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 I cannot spell your name, but thank you for the follow. Yeah, and after queen d4, push, 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 and I won. Pretty good! What can I say? Pretty good, but stupid inaccuracy in the middle of nowhere. Ruin a perfect game I played. And then Axel 1702. 3 2 for me and 1 1 for him. Yeah, it was weird. C5, I think, usually play like bishop d4. Yeah, I think in previous games he played bishop d4, didn't he? Yeah, he played bishop d4. h3, take, take, and we got some fun. Something, some fun. But. Ah, hi! Hi, hi, hi. Welcome. Yeah, I took Bishop of 395. But uh, Johnny, today or no? Uh, or, or later? Yes, here I think a stronger move would be Queen C2. Because he has to take. That's the only way he's in much worse than Rook C8. I play Rook B1. Then b4, and I'm still a pawn up. So queen c2, and otherwise, if he uh, takes and this, I'm just plus two. So yeah, I need one k pawn you. Okay. Queen c2 in x, I go for bishop d2, I still would be slightly better. Uh, the idea is if he takes, you get rook c1, right? Yeah, rook c1, and if he takes bishop f7, and if this there is queen c4, rook c4, I'm winning. So rook d8 mistake here to take. Take now rook d8, and you would be fine. This is this. I do go for bishop e2. I would be a pawn up. He's not saying in this, this, knight d7. Then there is bishop f3, f5, knight d4. Take, take. And I'm better. He played knight c4. Uh, I miss this. I thought he has to go. He would play rook d1, but then after bishop f1, I'm winning. But I miss knight c4. This I go for queen c2. I've seen this, but I didn't like that my bishop is super passive. So I went knight d4. And here, yeah, he had e5. And play hyper. No. Sorry. Maybe we can play Ultra October 1st. I would want some rating. We get to top 15. Yeah, 93, 96, my position, my pieces are absolutely dead, pretty much, as you can see. Um, his pieces are good. My my Rook, Bishop, Knight are just terrible and much worse. But yeah, here I go for Rook C1. Alright, I missed Rook C1 completely. It is if he moves, I take. Then if this 97 I'm winning, and this seems slightly better, he goes queen d5, I can take, take, take e7, knight c8, and yeah. Because knight c3 I get an unpleasant position, I go for d5. I didn't like bishop c3. Uh, but then d6, I'm fine, okay. King g2 this, and then we got a super equal position. I don't know why he was thinking so much, like, he could have simply waited rook 6, rook d6 all the time. Oh, he saw for a while, and he also created like an open file for me voluntarily, and then he sought for even more, and then he just flagged, and it was a max on 17 or 2. Position is completely equal, but I mean, if he flags, I, I, I don't mind that dub, you know, keeps me top 1 in rapid, so I'm pretty happy. 
Oh god, I almost spilled water. That wouldn't be good. Ah, but I didn't. Oh gosh, how many tabs have I opened? Two chess bases. Yay. I oh, know, I opened just one, okay. <clears throat> it was just not loading quick enough. Alright, yes, I'm interested. What do people play after castle? I mean, I don't know why he didn't stick to his normal bishop default. Like, see if I felt weird just to give a pawn for some mystical compensation? I don't know. It, it felt really weird. Uh, see if I miss. Whoa! Whoa! C5 is first line of stockfish? Yeah, we're playing rapid, yeah. Wow! C5 is the first line of stock. How? Why? So you play C6, so you later you play C5, like... To, for me, it doesn't make much sense. Yeah, but I think white white cared for this pawn too much. They could, yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, how did we win this? Well, wow. oh, yeah, some blunders. Yeah, right. People get this position without playing c6. So this is black to play. Nice original. That is crazy. And what is the evil of this then? Like black is plus point two or something or what? Because we without a tempo this position is zeros. This should be black slightly better or what? Wow. That's unusual. Yeah, black's plus zero point five. I mean, it honestly, it honestly makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Because it's like the e6 line, only the king is safer. Yeah, you take and then you take. Yeah, makes sense. But yeah, surprised to see that. Even with the loss of tempo, uh, black is fine. Yeah, but usually they get this position without wasting the tempo on c6. It's crazy. Okay, but nobody actually played the equalizing move. Did White lose this? May I, may I ask a question? Like, just. Is this position losable for White? Hmm. Same for the million. How how far away, by the way, Karma, are you? Yeah, why it's just better, simply. Oi. Aye, for back rank. Aye, aye, aye. Back rank issues. Oh, and they blundered. Ah, wow. Yeah, that's why back rank is support. Oh, 773k. That's quite a long way to go, but good luck. Now, this is, I'm gonna say, it's not an inaccuracy, but a5 computer says just equalizes. Why there's no moves? You suck a pawn, but the pieces are just stuck. So the best way Stockfish suggests is to uh, suck the pawn back. Black plays knight here. Uh, here, here, bishop d2, and then it's equal. And then, like, yeah, it's understandable. Knight b3, bishop g4. Okay, bishop g4 was an inaccuracy. He once again had to go for a5 with the idea of a4. Uh, and if I go knight bd4, then he goes bishop g4. Bishop e2, knight e4, h3 takes. Takes this. I sack the pawn by ruining his pawn structure. This queen d5, queen f2, f5, and it's equal. Yeah, because in the game. A 95, this is DC. DC was an inaccuracy. He again had to go for A5 with the idea of A4. Uh, but no, I'm already a plus point 0.8. Uh huh. 
an 85% inaccuracy. You should... Mm, Okay, I should have played a5. Yeah, but... You should have played a5 immediately. Forcing this. Ah, and I'm playing b6, undermining the pawn structure. c6. e5. I have 4 and white slightly better. Interesting. So dc wasn't really an inaccuracy, honestly. It was fine. <laughs> okay, knight e4. Knight e4 was an inaccuracy. Should have played knight fd7 with the idea of like rook c8 and attack this weakness. So I have to play like bishop d5. He takes, I go rook d1. Uh, queen c8, this, this, bishop b7. No, bishop b7 isn't good. I play e4 with the idea of like bishop b3, rook a1, and I'm slightly better. Okay, uh, not better, but slightly better. Two bishops advantage. This queen c7. Queen c2 was a mistake. I should have played bishop to d2. The idea is if he takes, this is a mistake. I get rook c1 with the idea of knight c5 and this. And if he takes, I simply take b6, take, take, b4. This point is false and I'm better. Cool. And if he doesn't go here but he takes, rook d2, rook d8, rook d1, I guess. Or something. No, rook c2 and I'm better as well. Makes sense. Okay, rook d8 was a mistake from him. He should have played knight to c4. Takes now rook d8, bishop d2, knight d2, uh, knight d2 here, here, bishop a3 with equality. The best team ever, true, true. This queen e4 was a mistake for me. I should have played bishop to e2, this f4, knight d4, this b4, this, no, bishop c4, right, queen f5, this I am better. I have two bishops, I have strong pawns, so I'm gonna go here, and I'm much better. Knight c4, g3, this. Knight d4, another mistake, I should have played queen c2. And then after takes, takes queen d7, I get king g2. Queen d5, f3, a6, rook a4. With idea of rook c4 protecting the pawn and the queen. Oops, the pawn and the queen. With equality. Queen c5, mistake back from him here to play e5. And he is better. My pieces are just terrible. Well, his pieces are very good. Thank you so much for a follow. And you stay here in a fun, quite money. Thank you for the follow. Should be two. There was another inaccuracy from him. Both missed the right move. He had to take. Yeah, he had. I, I was surprised he didn't take. And then after take, uh, only move for me is queen e1. I was planning to play queen e2, but queen e1. That makes sense. I attack this, and my idea is bishop e3 to skewer them, the rook. Um, so stockfish suggests knight c6. This, and then I have very weak light squares. Uh, rook d1, knight f3, this, knight e4, with a draw. Okay. And bishop c was yet another mistake for me. I had a very nice move rook c1 with the idea of knight c6 and knight e7. Uh, so if he goes queen, d, queen h5, I can take this bishop b4 and it's equal. And if he goes queen d5, I can also take, take uh, knight c6, rook d2, knight e7, this is, and I'm just some practical chances, you know, this can be weak. Rook c7, perhaps knight d6, this can be weak, even though my pawns are weak as well. It is some practical chance I'm slightly better. Knight d4 takes, queen c7, mm, even though bishop d4 so suggests a little bit more, likes a little bit more. Rook d4 here, rook d2, rook f1, e5, he is slightly better because my pieces are very passive. This pawn is weak, this rook is weak, these pawns are weak, and his idea is like this is, and he's slightly better. Rook d1, e6. King g2 was yet a, another mistake for me. I had to go for d5. And after bishop 3, bishop 3, queen c3, go d6, queen c6, play queen e4. I have a strong... Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, what on earth did I do? That was interesting. Uh, delete your many moves. No, not variation! I messed up the buttons! Okay, d5 was better. Take, take, take. Uh, take, take. Boom, boom. And I have good compensation, I have a strong pawn, 
And yeah, it's more or less equal. Queen d7 missed inaccuracy from him here to go for rook d5. Very nice move. This is your flag. Queen d7, h5, e5, b5. He would be better because, yeah, I just have no moves. A3, queen e5. That was another inaccuracy from him. It's not like a losing mistake or anything, but it loses the advantage. Here you go for like h5, and then slowly like b6, queen c7, rook d5, queen d7, b5, a5, b4, something like this. And you would be slightly better with some chances because I treated queens this, king e2. He had no chances, I had no chances, but yeah, I don't know why he created practical problems for himself. Like, why did he play b5? Sure, it was a nice move. Yeah, I had d5, but it, it doesn't win or anything. It was an interesting try. I wanted, to, I was thinking whether I should try it or not, but decided not to. And here I thought d5 is an interesting move. First of all, I missed e takes d. And then rook d5, bishop e7 with equality. But I was thinking rook c3 is the only move for him, which would be a blunder, because if he takes... Yeah, I've seen this, I've saw, I saw this line. King d4? King c6, b4, and I think I'm winning. I was just unsure after this pawn breaks. Yeah, I've seen this position, but yeah, I, I, I was almost sure that this should be winning because the g8 is completely winning. So yeah, rook c3, or b, bc loses because the pawn. bc is a huge blunder, guys, because he can take. And king d4, king c6, and this pawn goes. There is no b2 pawn stopping it. But yes, I go king c3, and if he goes e takes d, I can go... I need to go king d3 only move with the idea of this, this, and then I play king d4 myself because if king d4 I lose to king c6, that's very cool that king d4 is a blunder because only move king c6. And then for example, I wait, he isn't forced to take, that loses. Uh, Fe, I'm winning. B, b5 is a blunder, but he simply waits. Or, or he doesn't need to wait at all. Um, he just goes king d6 and bishop b5, and he's winning. So yeah, d5 was an interesting try, which I decided not to go for. So I made some moves, and then, then I played d5, and he sam ran out in his dream. Axel 1702. But yeah, I would definitely continue to try playing this for a win. Of course, it's a dead draw, but you never know what happens, especially in time travel. That is 340, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It is very cool, very nice, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody. Uh, don't forget to join the Discord to Nami Sam World Stream and World Stream. Good game and Slife Opener. I was pretty happy with it. Sure, I could have got better out, out of the opening, but still, good puzzle, great puzzle for me in a perfect game against Stockfish, win by Leech's analysis. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Thanks for the follow, better, better. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Karma and Panda, for tier 3, Karma for 65 months, and Panda for 47 months, and Junji for 100 bits, and Amy Bedwars for the raid. Thank you, guys, everybody, for the support. By Money first by Karma, by Trolls the Journal, by Jan Verhoef, by. by, 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 by. Amy Bad Wars by Pookie by Dry Minuten Blitz by Harry Always Born 32 by Contribute Nothing by Darko and your panda and everybody who was here. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Take care everybody and bye bye.